Take a peek at the KH-101 missile, one of Russia's mainstay precision deadly weapons apart from the Kinzhal, Caliber, and Iskander ballistic missiles. Russia's other deadly long-range weapon that has become the scourge of Ukraine is the KH-101 missile. Based on its history, in the late 1980s, the Soviet Union military was looking for a new air-launched cruise missile to replace their KH-55 role. This new missile was designated the KH-90, but after several test launches the program was discontinued. As a replacement, a new program was launched called the KH-101, with stealth capabilities so that it is difficult to track its presence during its voyage to the intended target. The KH-101 made its first successful flight in 1998. Evaluation trials began in 2000. The first pictures of this missile appeared in 2007. The KH-101 made its debut when used during Russia's military action in Syria in 2015-2017. In 2022, this missile will be widely used by the Russian military to attack strategic targets in Ukraine. For its dimensions, the KH-101 missile has a length of 7.54 meters and a diameter of 0.51 meters. The launch weight of the KH-101 is 2.3 tons. Each 2-95 Mega Siemens strategic bomber is capable of carrying up to six externally mounted KH-101 missiles. While the Tu-160 equips them with a revolver containing six missiles in it, the KH-101 is equipped with a turbofan engine and carries a normal 450 kg warhead with a very powerful explosive. The cruise missile is equipped with an electro-optical system for correcting flight trajectories and with a TV guidance system for terminal guidance. According to the manufacturer, the KH-101's target error, SEP, is only about 10 meters, classified as very precise. An excellent parameter for a missile with a range of thousands of kilometers. The KH-101 has a twin brother, the KH-102, with an identical appearance and system equipment, the difference between the two being the warhead. The KH-102 is equipped with a nuclear warhead with a yield of up to 250 knots. In comparison, the atomic bomb dropped by the US on the Japanese city of Hiroshima had an explosion equivalent to 13 knots. Thus, the destructive power of the KH-102 is more than 19 times that of this atomic bomb. With incredible destructive power, the KH-102 cruise missile can blow a large enemy city to the ground in an instant. Both the KH-101 and KH-102 missiles have speeds of up to Mach 0.9 and can fly very low, from 30 to 70 meters, which makes them difficult to intercept. Despite having many advantages, cost or price is a weakness for Russian cruise missiles in general. They are often more expensive than similar products from the United States. Currently, it is estimated that the unit price of the KH-101 missile is 13 million United States dollars. At the same time, they have some Western electronic components. When the supply of chips is closed, Russia, without prior preparation, will hardly be able to produce missiles of this type in large quantities. Despite the sanctions imposed on Russia by the United States and its allies, production of the KH-101 is in fact continuing. According to a report by the Ukrainian military, from the wreckage of the KH-101 they shot down, it shows that the KH-101 missile was manufactured after the start of the invasion. This means that Russia managed to acquire all the necessary foreign components to produce the missile. Some sources report that the production rate is 15 to 20 missiles per month.